Welcome to the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. Woodworking with an Appalachian flair. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. I want to give you some information today. I took a class called Furniture Design when I got my degree in woodworking, and I learned a lot of things in that class. But over the years, I have developed something I've learned into that class, which has helped me to build a reputation. And I advise you to look at this, modify it, and use this when you build for clients. I called it the three options that a craftsman has when dealing with custom clients. The first option, and it's the best option, is to educate the client. And by that, I mean a client will come to you with a specific request. They want you to design and build something. And when you're talking with them, they will throw out a very specific thing that they want incorporated in that. It could be a specific type of finish. It could be a method of joinery or, or a specific type of construction or a specific species of wood. They'll be very specific on this request. And you as a craftsman will know that that is not the best option. So you need to educate your client. Tell them why that is not the best option. And the most important thing is give them other options in place of what they request. So by educating the client, you're establishing a good relationship. You're communicating with the client. And most importantly, you are showing your client the knowledge that you have gained. So it's very important because remember, every time you build a piece of furniture, you're also building your reputation. So the first option is educate the client. The second option is you do exactly what the client requests. Now this is a little tricky because you never want to lower your prices, you never want to lower your standards, and you never want to lower the quality of material going out the door. So if you can complete what the client wants without compromising your reputation, then that's fine, that's great. If you can't, then there's a problem. So the third option is to refuse the job. Now, when you refuse the job, I have found it best to be very truthful. Tell the client why you are refusing the job. Be very truthful. It doesn't hurt to refer them to another woodworker you know that may be interested in doing it. By refusing to do the job, you are also building your reputation, and the client will appreciate that, and the client may tell other individuals, which will help them understand your standard or your level of work. So the three options you have when dealing with custom clients is to educate the client, to do what the client requests or refuse the job. All of these will help you build your reputation as a custom furniture builder. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop reminding you, be proud of your Appalachian heritage. Mm -hmm.